Live Portrait is a tool for creating efficient portrait animations with stitching and retargeting control. Now, the code and models are available, and you can run it on your local computer using Comfy UI. Installing Live Portrait on Windows can be a bit tricky because it uses a custom node with Insight Face. So I'm going to guide you on how to install Insight Face the correct way. First, let's open our Comfy UI web interface. Use the manager to search for the Live Portrait custom node and install the one by Kijai. Once that's done, completely close Comfy UI. Now, let's open the Live Portrait Comfy UI GitHub page. This is what the Live Portrait workflow on Comfy UI looks like. We'll dive into that soon. But first, we need to download the models. Scroll down and click on the Hugging Face link. Download all the files listed and place them in your Comfy UI directory inside the Models folder and then inside a new folder called Live Portrait. Since we don't have a Live Portrait folder yet, we need to create one. Great. The next step involves Insight Face. If you already have Insight Face installed, you can skip the following steps. First, we need to install Microsoft C++ build tools. You can find the link below. Download the .exe file and start it. When you see the window, check Desktop Development with C++ and click Install. Wait until the installation finishes, then restart your computer. To correctly install Insight Face for Comfy UI Portable, go to the Python embedded folder and type CMD in the address bar. In the command prompt, type Python exe version This will show that our Comfy UI Portable is running on Python 3.11. So, we need to download the correct Insight Face for Python 3.11, which is labeled CP311. And place it in the Python embedded folder. Next, we need to create a batch file named insightface.bat. Using a text editor, get the full path of our embedded Python in Comfy UI and add this line. Python.exe-mpip install upip. This line updates our pip. In the next line, copy the path of python.exe again and add mpip install, followed by the full path of the WHL file we downloaded. enclosed in quotes, and add a space and write on an X runtime. In a new line, write pause so the command prompt doesn't close automatically. Save the file and run it as an administrator. Now Insight Face is correctly installed on Comfy UI Portable. If you installed Comfy UI manually or using Pinocchio, you can follow these steps. First, go to the main Comfy UI folder and activate the environment. Open CMD in the main Comfy UI directory and type venv backslash scripts 
backslash activate to activate the environment. Then type Python dash dash version to check your Python version. If it's Python 3.10, download the correct WHL file for Python 3.10 and place it in the main comfy UI directory. Next, create a batch file named insightface.bat. In this file, activate the environment by typing call, followed by the full path to the virtual environments activate file. In a new line, type pip install followed by the path to the WHL file in quotes. And add a space, then type on x run time. Add a new line with pause to keep the command prompt open. Save this file and run it as an administrator. Now. Insight Face should work fine for your manual Comfy UI installation. Next, download the example JSON workflow file from the Live Portrait Comfy UI GitHub page. Start Comfy UI and load the workflow. You'll need to install some missing nodes. Comfy Video Helper Suite and KJ Nodes for Comfy UI. Restart the web UI, and you'll see that the workflow is loaded and ready to start generating. By the way, I'm using an RTX 3060 with 12 gigabytes of VRAM, so anything above this card should work fine. First, let's grab a stock video of someone making facial expressions. This one looks fine. It's important to change the aspect ratio of the video to get the best results. Live Portrait works best with square images and videos, so we need an aspect ratio of 1.1. I'm using an online tool to crop this video. Now back to our workflow. Load our target image here, making sure it's a square image. And our cropped video here as the reference. We can adjust the number of frames to generate. Let's make the video longer by setting it to 128 frames. Now let's click on Generate and wait for the result. As you can see, our image is now animated and follows the facial expressions from the reference video, including head movements, which is really cool. By setting the frame load cap to zero, we can generate the entire video. Here's the final result. There are some aggressive head movements that don't look natural but this AI tool has great potential. There are a few settings you can tweak, like eye retargeting. When switched to true, our character will mimic only eye movements. We'll see that in another example. You can also activate lip retargeting to get lip movements without exaggerated head movements. Live Portrait works not only with close-up images, but also with full body images. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoy using this new tool.
If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video.